Do we do we want to write down some topics before we start? Uh, you know, considering what we're talking about right now, maybe. Might be it. Might be the play. What do you what do you want to talk about? Uh pinch in the peat. <laughs> what? P E A T. P E A T. You know what that Pete? is? Pinch in the peat? Yeah, you know what peat is. It's like a kind of soil. It's I've, like I've heard it, of it. Yeah. It's like for I'm gardening. Familiar. So you, you you pinch the peat and you pack the peat. Okay. What is pinching and well, okay, we'll talk about it, but all right. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um the time the my mom found the cumbrella. I'm not writing that one out. <laughs> That's on you. How about my, uh my hands what? refuse to type that? Alright, how about some of my bars? I got I got some rep. Let's keep that in the notes app. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I wanna rap. <laughs> okay. Come on, I'm a little chemical reaction. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, how about reptiles? All right, reptiles. First normal fucking <laughs> street talk. He built like the O from Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> Pete Rack wants to rap and reptiles. I don't got shit to say about reptiles. Skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do I want to talk about? So are we rolling right now? This is the fucking podcast. <laughs> it takes time to warm up, mister. Why don't I we just, just launch? Okay. Why don't we just launch right into one of the topics like reptiles? Yes. Reptiles. <laughs> why did you write down reptiles as one of the conversation topics for today? You know what an iguana is, right? Yeah, it's a little something something about yay high, yay wide. It's a herbivorous lizard. <laughs> herbivorous? <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? Herb- herbivorous? I don't think <laughs> That means you that means you can eat it if you're a herbivore. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh my god. What? That coming at whiplash, fuck. Oh my god. That was stupid. If you're an herbivore, you can eat an herbivorous lizard. You just can't eat a meat lizard. My face of perplexion right now is is insane. Yeah. I have a cage of lizards here in case I get hungry. I can just grab one of them by the dewlap and go to town. By the dewlap? (laughs) What is a dewlap? (laughs) It's like a scruff, but on the neck. You know, like a rooster, it has like a little thing hanging off its chin. That's a dewlap. That's a dewlap? Reptiles have dewlaps? Yeah. Wow. Uh, iguana does the herb- herbivorous ones do that's insane <laughs> yeah you have just a cage of reptiles right next to your yeah and your PC. i reach in like it's a bag of potato chips just take a handful oh a handful aren't you afraid that they're gonna like run around or are they are they dead no i have a strong grip i grab them and i eat them alive that is that illegal is that like i'm gonna get PETA knocking at my door because i'm eating lizards I think if you like to, I think if you bring that outside for like a, a snack in the middle of your work day or like you're just roaming around a department store and you just like start munching on <laughs> open your you bag of snacks take a live lizard out of your shirt pocket and bite off its head yeah somebody gonna call the cops or is that just immoral uh, I think it's is it illegal maybe if it's like a protected uh, species you get like a poaching charge a poaching charge <laughs> How would yep. people know though? Illegal I don't know. I don't hunting. know anybody that would like want to fuck with somebody that is just walking around in public. Just well, I'm not asking a, a whether or not they would fuck with me. I'm, the head. I'm asking you if it's illegal. You know, maybe yeah, but, like, to, to find to out if it's, it's endangered, illegal. they would send the uh, decapitated corpse of it to a lab to identify the species, and then if it's endangered, you get a poaching charge. Yeah, but like, how does it get to from from <laughs> out of your pocket? You bite off its head to now in a lab being identified well, whether it's a Assuming it's illegal, about. assuming it's illegal, maybe somebody that sees you do it would know it's illegal, and they immediately hold you down, and they say, "Carefully, he's got a lizard," <laughs> and then and then they they pat you down and they take the lizard, right? And then you're prosecuted swiftly. <laughs> swiftly. 
<laughs> Hold him down. He's got a lizard. Fuck. But who like, would, but like solely for yeah. the eating of the lizard, not because like you caused a scene. Right. But who would get to that length of like? I don't know anybody that would call nine one one on someone that just whipped out a lizard and bit its head off in public. Yeah, actually, this is an interesting question. How big does an animal have to be for you to torture it? Or um, for for it to for it to be illegal to torture it? I oh oh, that's a good question. Uh, because like don't. like like cats and dogs, obviously that's off the table. But like right, right, right. You know, a rabbit probably still legal. Mouse? Like, what? What do you get to mouse? Because then it's like mouse. People probably people buy legal. mice to feed them to snakes. Well, but that's not considered live? abuse. Yeah, they feed them to snakes live. I remember we we had a snake in in school in science class, but it was like frozen frozen rats, frozen mice. Yeah, live feeding happens. There's videos of it online where like all the responses and comments are people either being like that's awesome or that's cruel. It's like 50-50. Yeah. Technically, it's the unfolding <clears throat> of nature, but also you're Lying. playing God by creating that suffering yourself in a cage. Hmm. I don't think it's wrong to play God, though. Is it illegal to eat a lizard? Let's find out. I don't think it's illegal. I don't think someone's going to hold you down and the law is going to prosecute you swiftly for eating a lizard. What animals are illegal to torture? That's going to put me on a list. Yeah, you're already on many lists, yeah. I think anything smaller than, or at the level, or bigger than a rat is illegal. Like if that's you, a, if that's you, fair. It's morally fucked up if you're torturing animals of any kind. <laughs> um, like ripping the wings off of a fly, that's kind of scuffed, but... I don't think you're, no one's going to tackle you in the street because they saw you do that, you know? Yeah. But, uh. Top 10 yeah. cruelest animals. Uh, this just came up when I looked up oh, what yeah. animals. What's number 10, dude? Uh, well, number one is a human and number two is a meerkat. And this is a topic of dangerous? Top 10 most dangerous? Uh, no, no, no. Most cruel animals. Most cruel. A meerkat yeah. is cruel? A meerkat is cruel. They have a violent streak. They often kill one another for dominance and cannibalism. Whoa, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a nice pet. Human sounds like a nice pet too, though. Um, what kind of well, it's probably like things? a, it's probably like a pit bull where like there's some of them that are nice. As a whole, people regard them as mean. But like, there's or some maybe sweet like pit just bulls. Every meerkat is just a complete and utter asshole. All right, moving on from meerkats. Are pit bulls sure. cruel? It can be. That's my Pitbulls very aren't animal. aggressive with people, but are less tolerant of other dogs. So, Ooh. if you want to find out if your pit bull is cruel, just buy it alongside another dog breed and let him duke it out in the yard. <laughs> just have your personal <laughs> dog fighting ring in the back of your, back of your uh, house. Yeah, I would buy two like That's abused. Illegal. I would buy two abused dogs that really hate other dogs and just make them duke it out in the yard. <laughs> then whoever wins gets to be my pet. That sounds like you're playing God a little bit. <laughs> Is dog fighting illegal in Oregon? <laughs> yes, it is. It is illegal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a felony. Okay. That's not state dependent. That means it's like illegal everywhere in the U.S. Yeah. No, dog fighting is strictly forbidden. Where is States. dog fighting legal? <laughs> I think in Mexico. Oh yeah, Actually. Honduras. Let's go to Honduras next year and no, do some dog we're fighting. Not. You don't want to do some Honduran <laughs> dog fighting. <laughs> you should do a podcast episode while your two months are fighting in the backyard. You know, so yeah, I was, we, like, we how was your do day that. today? You just hear the mutts fucking scrap, <laughs> just biting at their throats. I used yeah. to not like Honduran people, but they're moving up in the ranks for me after I found that out. I they love dog really fighting. Swayed it, yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. We got to go down there sometime. We got to go on a vacation, yeah, period. I mean, yeah, that's like do. one idea for one. 100%. I don't know if you want to spend that like week of vacation just seeing dogs fight, though. Because that's bloody, man. That That's not for the weak heart. I mean, I've, I've seen heart. enough of it. Like, I'm kind of desensitized to it. Mm. Like, I've watched pit bulls fight in a Petco constantly. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't really go in Petco that much. The parakeets scare me. I don't either. I just watch videos of it. There's just one... 
of pit bulls fighting in a pet go. And it's really you bloody. You sent that to me, actually. I did. A long time ago. Yeah, you did. Oh, my God. I remember that. I think one of the pit bulls, like, ripped off the ear of the other pit bull. Uh, yeah, it was the cheek, actually. Ripped off oh, the cheek. My. Oh, I didn't... I don't remember, like, expressly watching that video, but... Because I don't really like seeing dogs fight, but... I, I saw the comments and I was like, is that his ear or is that his cheek or something like that? That's scuffed, man. That's scuffed. I wouldn't go to a petco there. Yeah. I would, but like, I feel like morbid curiosity would take me and like grab hold of me then, then in, in that moment. Like, yeah, just be in the corner watching or like eating some dog treats, you know? It's like, oh man, this is something. Yeah, you say you don't like dog fighting, but you don't know until you're there. You have the chance to do it. And maybe you'd yeah. be like, all right, if nobody's going to find out about it, all right, I'll do it just this once. Yeah, dog fighting. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't. I'm not really into fighting so much. You know, like on Twitter, when you don't follow anyone on Twitter, like Twitter just decides to give you like what people watch. Oh yeah, I follow zero people, so that happens to me. I hate that every time. I I don't like it because like I get like I get fight vids, right? I love because fight people vids. People love. I don't like fight vids. Why do you like fight vids? I don't get it. Some of them are funny. Some of them. I like the failed robberies Twitter. Have you seen that one? Oh yeah, that one's good. Yeah, that that's also in the feed when you don't have any followers. Yeah, yeah. that one's good because like it's deserved, fully deserved. But in like the the failed fights, it's like some of them are like just kids. You know what I mean? And like in yeah. middle school, they just get laid out. I'm like, okay, why did I just watch a kid get destroyed? I don't I don't want to watch that. Get, get laid out by a fully grown man. Yeah, no, I was surprised. I think I watched one recently. And, like, even if I say I don't want to watch it, sometimes morbid curiosity, like, grips me hard. So then I'm just like, fuck, well, I'm here now. I might as well stay to the end. And th there was a huge kid, like, big kid, right? Versus, like, a, a skinny, scrawny kind of, like, he was shorter as well. And the shorter kid, I don't know if he was on some Thorfinn shit, the, the, the big guy, because he didn't throw any fists, really, right? But the the scrawny guy just destroyed him. He kept swinging at his head and, until he was down. It was crazy. And I was like, damn, what the fuck? Why didn't he fight back? And I don't know the story for any of these, so I'm not, like, like super attached to it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I always want to know, like, what is the context that led right. to the fight. I'll make it better. That's the like, more, that's oh, the spice his, of it. He got his McDonald's Grimace shake stolen. <laughs> Have you tried that, by the way? No. no. Of course not. I saw it. I said, what, what do you mean, of course not, man? It's purple. It's a purple shake from McDonald's. You would not drink that? No, I only brought it up to mock the fact that it exists. I don't know. I, I uh, Anything, if it's purple and it's sold by the Golden Arches, you know, I'll put it in my mouth. Yeah. That is, yeah, you're going to get poisoned. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's sold by the Golden Arches. <clears throat> it could just oh, be a yeah, fucking 100%. crackhead coming out of an alley that says he works for McDonald's. I'll eat whatever he hands to me. <laughs> Well, he needs to show proof of of his job, you know. I mean, just, if he has a hat with an M on it, <laughs> just not not even the arch is just an M, <laughs> like a poorly drawn arch. Yeah, Wh who's the yellow. mascot again? Fucking Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> I like him better than Messi personally. Oh yeah, fucking her. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh. Yeah, I have not tried the gr <laughs> the Grimace shake from Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've now given it some free advertising. That's true. You know, we really push this. Go get the Grimace shake now if you want your. I really didn't here. want to. I thought I could just. I, I thought I could just drop it and move on, but. No, now it's it's gripped you, which you I don't know why I'm saying purple. a lot today. The color purple is good. If you're drinking something and it's purple, like your brain is like. Wow, this is healthy because there's probably like beets or some shit like that. I, I probably mix some vegetables up, you know. Yeah, I'm probably drinking my calories here. But like the grimace shake is like, I'm never even tasted. I've only seen like stories about it, and I, I'm intrigued. You know what I mean? If some free advertisement comes of this conversation, I think it's well deserved because they made a purple drink, and I don't think anyone's ever done that before. That's crazy, bro. They invented the color purple. Yeah, big respect to that big company. I fucking hate Burger King so much, man. I hate I all hate fast it. food, and I hope all the workers die. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean the owners. 
Owners. The owners. Bill- billionaires. <laughs> Hope they die in a submarine. We had a conversation before about like not liking. Okay, so you don't like billionaires. You don't like rich people, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't like wish death on all of them. Only right. certain ones. Right. I get. <laughs> I get you. We had a back and forth where it was like, "All right, Rack, you don't like rich people. Well, I feel the same about poor people." And then you said, "You said it was like, well, well, why don't well, I ask you why don't you like rich people?" And he said, "There's too many of them, or something like that." And then I said, "I feel the same way about poor people." And we were just at this this <laughs> this immovable object meets uh, the other half of that that saying, you know, like we just we were stuck in a stalemate there for a second. Yeah. What do well, you what do you dislike about rich people? I'm not well, like advocating for rich people. I'm just I'm curious. You're gonna get me to talk about conspiracies. All right, they're only rich sure. because they sold their soul to the devil. How do you do that? How do you sell your soul to the devil? Uh, you need connections. You need to know a guy that knows a guy that knows a devil, which is the hardest part. Like, you could have the coolest product in the world that you think will set you up to be a billionaire, but yeah, it won't do shit for you if you don't have connections. Like, you gotta be part of the royal bloodline. I mean, I feel like there's a... But, like, how do you go from, like, the very bottom of the rung? You don't. To, like... You well, know how they say, like, anybody can be president? It's a fucking lie. Go try to be president right now. See what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody's going to vote for you. Not because you, you suck at giving speeches, but because... Well, they they might vote for you, but... like It's rigged. Th- they'll just rig the votes so you won't win. Yeah, I could, exactly. I can some, to some degree believe that, you know, it's very hard for just a normal, everyday citizen like you and me to climb the ladder of presidency. I don't think it's impossible. Yeah. No, it would be too much of a security somehow. hazard. To just let anybody become president, they have to be like pre-selected from birth and raised in a lab, and taught <laughs> exactly how to be president. I cannot believe I I do not believe that like Trump or Biden were raised in a lab. Oh yeah, no, absolutely raised in a lab. Not not literally a lab, but like a special school for like here's oh. how you here's how you be president when you're older. We already figured oh, really? out you're going to be president. Yeah, they're they're pre-selected. <laughs> hmm, I get you. I'm still caught up on the devil thing, like. Because there's people that have nothing, and then they suddenly rise to fame, and like people are like, oh well, they sell their soul or do this and that. And I'm not, I'm not curious for the sake of uh, <clears throat> replicating it myself. But how does like you, how do you find a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy that knows the devil? And what is the the process of selling Hollywood. your soul? Hollywood, L.A. You just go to L.A. Yeah, go to L.A. and go to a party and just talk to everybody. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. I heard on LA everybody is just curious and and into you for what you you provide as a person, like how much money you have in your bank account, like that your societal standard or your societal place is what makes people want to be around you in LA. It's very it's very surface level. It's very fake over there. Yeah, That's LA is where dreams go to die. And or get flourish, morphed. and then and then die eventually because you find out it's really empty, you know. That yeah, would, that would oh, if I had to drop a nuke anywhere, it would be L.A. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the that was the one of the comments. Yeah, that we got about if you can drop a nuke, where would you drop it? Out of like fifty eight specific topics, we we took that one because it's really interesting. Yeah, and out of fifty eight specific states, I chose L.A. Oh, really? Oh, let, let's play like that. So out of fifty, wait, fifty? There's fifty eight states. I thought there was fifty five. No, there's 58, and L.A. is one of them. Oh, that was really confident. I'm going to look that out real quick. All right. I, I just want to be on the right here. How I wouldn't say states? it if I was wrong. Okay. All right. Let's see. It's in the city of California. There's 50 states. We're, we're both wrong. <laughs> you didn't actually think there was 55, did you? Yes, I did. I'm not good with American geology and, and stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I was, okay, I was I, trolling you, but then you actually whipped out a fifty-five, a sh fifty-five. Dude, okay, listen. In school, there was two things that I hated growing up in elementary school, like vehemently hated. <laughs> I the number five get... and the number five. <laughs> 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 no, man, I'm not that stupid. Okay, I promise. <laughs> I promise. No, oh, I, like don't, I don't five. like geology. Yeah, <laughs> I I fucking hate five. If there's look, dude, any math question that had the number five in it, I just wouldn't do. I'm like counting, I missed out I an entire. 
Any any version of five. <clears throat> no, um, I hated learning about geology. Like, you know, like those, those pamphlets where you have to like fill in like, where does this state go? I didn't do that. I took I actually took the L on those. I got a zero on those assignments and just passed via just doing good everywhere else. I just didn't do it. I hate it. Why the fuck do I need to know where Wisconsin is? Okay? I'm not going to Wisconsin. I don't want to be anywhere near. Like, I know the basic stuff. You know, Kentucky is the capital of the United States. Abraham Lincoln was the first president of the United States. I know the basic stuff. But, like, I don't need to know where the states are. You, you, you know what I mean? That's what I thought. And then I walked one block from my house and got lost. Never again. <laughs> I had to learn all that shit. Dude, dementia is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you better you learn late than never. That's true. That's true. I don't know. I don't like geology. There was two. So it was geology and it was uh, it was uh, how to read a clock. I hated that shit too. I was like, what do these hands mean? And why does it like point so like, why is the point so sharp? Why why is it standing to attention? Wait. Are we in the military? Wait. I didn't like it. Wait, what? A hand? Yeah, the hands of the clock. I don't like the way they look. Oh, you're like talking about me. something completely different now. No, no, I'm just saying like uh, geology and... Uh, the geology of the United States and where the states are, and then the lessons of l- how to read a clock, I completely, quote unquote, clocked out of when I was there learning. Yeah? Yeah. I, I wasn't paying I attention it. when you switched to the clock. My bad. It's okay. No, it's it's quite all right. <laughs> you reach for a lizard. <laughs> you reach for an iguana. Sorry, I was munching on my snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're fine. I understand, man. No, I hate that shit. Did you have any, like, Topics in school that you just completely like blanked out on, like I've, um, I before before you answer that real quick, for yeah. me and I want you to I want you to talk about this real quick because when I blank out, I've watched Kung Fu Panda two, to the point where like I can close my eyes and just see the entire movie, like music and That's all. That's not healthy. Go to therapy. No, 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 but it is healthy because like I really understand like Poe's, like, journey throughout this trilogy. Therapy. I don't like number three too much. It's it's therapeutic. Thank you. Yes, it is therapy. Yeah. I wasn't agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what I do when I clock out. So what what are the topics that you clocked out for, and how did you clock out? Um, I also didn't know how to read a clock. Okay. Until like very late into my life, and I tried to use that as an excuse for like why I would forget important events. Like, well, why'd you forget my anniversary, love? Like, oh, I can't read clocks. <laughs> Nobody ever fell for it. So eventually, I just had to fucking learn. And Are you uh, sure? I feel like people would like, <laughs> why'd you miss our anniversary, love? <laughs> I can't read clocks. Like, I feel like that's pretty up your alley. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I would try it, but nobody ever believed it. Okay. Never came across. So what do you, what do you do when you clock out? Did you, or did you have any other topics that you just completely zoned um, out on as a kid? Yeah, like I would draw on the desk sometimes and I'd get in trouble and they would make me like wipe it off after class. And so I graduated to paper. I'm sorry, then, that slipped out. <laughs> oh, you're good, dude. And then I would take the drawing and I would stick it to the, the bottom of the desk with a bit of gum so I could retrieve it later. <laughs> wow, you sound like a menace. I was listening, though. Like, if you asked <laughs> me to recite everything my teacher told me, like, ten years ago, I can still tell you. That's autism for you. <laughs> Yeah, but I I was drawing while I listened. What were you, what were you drawing again? Um, I was drawing a picture of my teacher being a fat, ugly bitch because that's what she was. <laughs> Damn, dude, you're doing like she, that Mrs. Puff treatment. Yeah, yeah, and then she would uh, she would lift it up and then hold it in front of the entire class and say, "What's this?" And I'd say, "It's you, you fat bitch." And then she'd cry and run out. That's so sad. No, Have she you ever deserved thought that it. She maybe had a family or something Bro, like that. Or she had no, like- no, no, no. All my teachers, listen, I, I grew up in Portland, Oregon. All my teachers deserve pain. They're fucking terrible really? people. Well, that's yeah. because you live in Oregon. Yeah, my, I was tortured by my teachers, all right? So I can <laughs> I can hypothetically torture them and with my words all I want. How were you tortured by your teachers? Um, you know, shaking me upside down for lunch money, wedgies. <laughs> I think you were just bullied <laughs> by your teachers. Maybe those weren't <laughs> the teachers. Maybe those were just seniors. <laughs> <laughs> they were really tall, so I just equated them to teachers. I thought it was my teachers. <laughs> I'm learning a lot tonight. I like the idea of you just like 
upside down be- <laughs> being shaken and just a, just tens of thousands of coins fall out of your pockets. Always happens in the cartoons, but for me it was real life. Right. I don't know so why my say- parents put my lunch money in my hair. <laughs> just ease of access, you know. Comb your hair and just a bunch of quarters come out. If if I if like someone punches you, did the like. Do you just spill out of coins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. They'd all come looting me like it was Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. I think we... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so you, you were bullied in school. How how badly were you bullied? Um, like, bad like on enough. a scale of 1 to 10. Okay. Bad enough. Bad enough. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that, man. But you turned out pretty good, you know? I would say so. Yeah. Well, there was like a there was a hint of like, oh, I don't believe you, in that statement. Do you disagree with that? No, I was trying to think of like the best way to put, like how I turned out. Right. I mean, my mom I, calls me like mommy's little champ. Aw, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah, she says uh, I'm her li- I'm her little twinkle toes. Oh, that's so- <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Well. It started pretty strong there in the first half. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> no, I think I turned out great, buddy. Don't ever say that your mom called you your her little twinkle toes. That is, oh my god. <laughs> she called me her little pixie stick, her little cinnamon roll. <laughs> Why are you cinnamon roll? Why are you like draw? <laughs> Why are you saying it like her little that? cinnamon roll? She grabbed me by my doulet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm speaking in abonics, bubonics, like the plague. You're fine, you're fine. You ever speak in <laughs> bubonics? Bar. Excuse me? He built what like, he built like the bubonic plague. <laughs> okay, you can't, I'm, I'm still waking up and you're like in the, the middle of that high. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're in the middle of that, man, I'm saying stuff. He, he built like the O from tic-tac-toe. Oh yeah, that was, for the people back at home. We actually wrote that down as a topic. That is a topic. That is like on the message board here. He built like the O from Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> and I don't, and like, I'm like, hey, dude, what do we do for topics today? What are you feeling? And you're like, wait, let me, can I read this out for a second? This is good. This he is built good. like an AirPod. Yeah, go for it. Right. Okay. So I asked at the start, what do you want to do for topics? Because, you know, keep it more concise. Yeah. More, yeah this is what we want to yeah. talk about, right? Yeah. This is what he said. And I wrote it down. Okay, street talk. He built like the O from tic tac toe. I've been practicing Pete. my street talk. Yeah, street talk, Pete. And you said it was. Oh yeah, pushing packing Pete. the Pete. Have packing ever... the Pete and pushing the Pete. No, it was packing the Pete. No, it was pinching the Pete. No, it was pinching the pennies. Okay, okay, Pete. <laughs> we have Pete, and then Rack wants to rap, and then I put it in parentheses. Remember to cut this out. And at the very what? end is reptiles. I'm a little chemical reaction. I don't care if my pants sagging. I'm a little that I'm a little poontang magnet. <laughs> I'm mommy's little twinkle toes. There you go. Boom. It doesn't rhyme, but it, it's it's accurate. When mommy calls me twinkle toes, I come like a twinkle hose. Yeah, so that's why I said remember to cut this out right next to Rack <laughs> wants to rap. That's that's why we have that there. Hacking the peat, licking the chicken, blooming my dew, flexing the peck, sipping the cider, spinning the arms, dancing a jig, humping the horse, jumping the fence, shooting the breeze, passing a stone, sewing my oats, skipping the loose, skinning a dog, hugging a tree, packing a load, painting the town red, making the rounds, lollygagging around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like jacking off? You asked me this last time, I think. Did you? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about that. That's why I said all that shit. <laughs> Wait, did you know so those are was... all metaphors for jacking off? Yeah, I was humping the horse was what really got me. I kind of zoned out oats? after that. So, what about the oats? Sewing my oats. Wait, you said that like a couple days ago that you, you couldn't get on because like you had to get your oatmeal. I was making my oats. I wasn't sewing them. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I don't like sewing. I like the humping the horse one. That one was funny. I like that one. I kind of, I kind of stopped. In You're the disgusting. Of that. What do you mean? You would hey, hump a horse? No, I, I wouldn't. Hunt. It's an expression, my friend. But hey, um, <laughs> hey, did I show you that horse video what's before? An ex- what's an expression? Oh, what? No, I haven't seen that. Yes, you have. Think about the horse video that I've sent you before, where it's getting pet, and its face is like 
He's really happy. Oh There's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know the that's one. That's a great yeah. video. I'm upset that I remember. You know, I, I was <laughs> I was vibing. I was riding high. It's a, it's, a, it's a video that that showcases a, a nice lady. Um, her hand is out of frame, but it's under the horse. And yeah. it's hotly debated whether it's rubbing its stomach or another part of the horse. And the horse is visibly having an amazing time. Well, then what's and the it, issue? If the horse is having a good time, why isn't everybody else having a good time? That's what I thought when three people in front of me on Discord. But, you know, lo and behold, I don't have all the answers, Rack. I don't know why people are... It was his, it was his tummy. It was his tummy. I, mm, and you saw nothing yeah. inappropriate. I say the mood of the horse should dictate the mood of the village, you know? It should be like your sacred cow, but a horse. If the That's horse so is true. happy, then the town is happy. If the horse is killed, then anarchy for the village. No, just get a new Looting horse. and burning. Say again? No, just get a new horse. <laughs> well, if it's a sacred horse, you can't just throw away the sacred horse. No, it's no, 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 it's, it's fine. It's, the sacredness is in how you value it. So, like, you make it sacred but with your belief in prayer. Yeah, but if I make it sacred with my belief in prayer and it dies, then my religion has gone to shit. It's like seeing No, God no, no, you just get a new one. Me. Yeah, you get a replacement God. Not a big deal. Like, when Jesus died, they could have just gotten a replacement Jesus. I don't think it would be that simple, though. Like, who, who would fill in the role of Jesus? Who would turn their water into wine? Who would walk on water for them? You it's know? the fucking, the belief. He doesn't have it's to actually belief. do that I shit. Saw him do it. You just gotta I believe he can it. You gotta believe the fucking random guy living across the street can turn water into wine. He just refuses to show you. Why don't why don't more people sell their souls to Jesus and to like God instead of the devil? Cause like, um, just, just give your soul to God. Not I'm not talking religiously. I'm not talking like get on your knees and go to church every Sunday, but like, hey man, here hold on to this for me. I know the other guy is gonna be kind of mean about it. You know? People do give their soul to Jesus. Isn't that more, is, isn't that healthier than selling your soul to the devil? It just makes way shittier music. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know, that is true. That is true. You got me there. Nip that in the butt. You know what? Uh, I, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I, no, I, I please, wasn't going to say all anything. Means, bring it to the table. I, I've been, I've been, I feel like your therapist this episode. I feel like I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah. Really, and that happened to you? Oh my God, I Are cannot we, imagine. Yeah, we're making progress on unpacking my brain. Yeah, there's a a lot of cobwebs. There's a lot of there's like it's weird because some boxes are like oozing, and like I don't know how long they've been there. I don't know what it contains. So it's 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 a it's a it's all process, but I'm I'm here for it. Did you know that 100%. my mom was born the same year as the uh, liberation of Kenya? I did not. That's news to me. She's a wonderful woman, by the way. She's just, just, oh my God. I love, your mom, like, just wow, you know, just wow. Oh, I've never met such a well put together woman. She, she has her life in order. Oh yeah? Really? Yeah. What do you mean by well put? <laughs> you mean with your classic, oh yeah? Yeah, Most what's the well, judging. yeah, what's the yeah. well put together mean? Well, she, I mean, hey, let's be honest. She made her little twinkle toes sitting right next to me. So, come on. She has to be, you know, she has to be, like, mentally, like, doing gymnastics every single day. Only she calls me that. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Sorry, did I? Oh, shit. Cross the line there. <laughs> Mr. Twinkle Toes. Yeah, nobody else calls me that. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. So I'm sorry. We'll, we'll speaking of the that. Speaking of the liberation of Kenya, I want to, like, adopt a kid yeah. from there, but, like... I want to do, like, a free trial of adoption. Is that fucked up? Like, you adopt a kid, but it's only for 30 days to get the free trial of parenthood. And then, well, like, after yeah. 30 days of the the child getting attached to you, you send it back to Kenya while it cries. And you know then what decide you if you do. should get the white one. The white <laughs> okay. Version. Well, you know what you could do? You can adopt two kids from Kenya. Or adopt one kid from Kenya and one kid from somebody else. Go to Mexico and have them fight in the backyard to be your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm already doing that with my dogs. It's a good point. <laughs> you have one side of the backyard to your kids and one side of the backyard to your dogs. Or make the and kids fight the like, dog. Oh no, that's unfair. That's no, that's out of their weight <laughs> weight group. 
Wait, uh, unfair to who? The kid or the dog? I mean, depends on what kind of kid the kid is, or it depends on what kind of dog the dog is. I mean, I mean, I, if it's a pit bull, yeah, it's rough. But if the kid is from Kenya, it's a fair match. Hmm. See, I I want to say the expression. I would love to see that, but I really do not want to see two kids fight. <laughs> Admit it, you do. You want to see a snuff film of a kid fighting a pit bull? I re- I, you're projecting so hard right now. I do not want to see that. (laughs) You know what I want to see? I want to see a snuff film of somebody getting killed by bees. That sounds awful. I don't think it's on video, but it's happened before. No, it's definitely happened before. Um, in the Hunger Games, the, the the movie. Oh yeah, that must be where I got the fascination with it. Because the Tracker Jackers. Oh, it was awful. I like that. It was yeah. awful, but it, it left something to be desired. Like, I want to see actual footage of death by bees. You really don't. It's just someone like, okay, so like, I remember seeing on the, on the news, an uh, old man get attacked by like hundreds of bees. And he yeah. just like, he's just like hopelessly swatting the air. He survived, by the way. <laughs> but he's just hopelessly swatting, and then he just falls. Because well, like, the venom at that point, there's so much that you're just going to have a heart attack and die. Well, there's only... You only die if it, it's like a certain species of bee that's poisonous. Like Dude, you can't you die from regular a, bees, right? Like a thousand regular bees, like that could kill you. Really? They have venom. I, believe, I didn't yeah. know that. Well, like a, a bee that has bee venom. venom. Let's look this up. Okay. No, but like one hundred percent. If you're if you're a frail old man oh, yeah. in that scenario, one hundred percent. This but is the poison that bee. makes a bee sting painful. Yeah. No. It's uh. How much yeah, bee venom is fatal? Oh, it would take 500 stings to kill a child. We'll put that to the test. Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm guessing like a 1,000 double it for. Bee sting world record. 500 stings or double it and give it to the next child. <laughs> <laughs> Johannes Relicus survived 2,400 bee stings. Oh, wait, oh never mind. God. This guy got her beat 20,000 times by bees and even ingested 20, some of them. What? During a mishap while he was cutting the branches. Wait, is this the guy you were talking about? The Ohio man? I think so. An Ohio man that was stung 20,000 times by bees. His face was pretty messed up at the end. Like, like, he wasn't, like, deformed. Oh, yeah. It wasn't an old man. He was was 20. Oh, I don't think so, then. Because it was an old man for the news story. When he started cutting them branches, that's when the bees came out. He tried to anchor himself down, and he couldn't. He was hollering, help, help me, help. And nobody would help him, his grandmother, Phyllis Edwards, told the Cincinnati Inquirer. Wow, thanks, Phyllis, you old hag. Should have fucking helped him. I don't care if you have arthritis. Get off your ass. What was she going to do? She was going to show up and like, hey, leave him alone. Yeah, nag the bees. Hey, don't oh, yeah. you Don't you have honey to be making? I don't know. <laughs> Don't you gotta be productive? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. That's crazy. I don't like. I don't like bees. Uh, the idea of someone getting stuck 20,000 20, times and surviving. First of all, that sounds actually fake. I'm thinking like five thousand times is like the max the human body can take. Twenty thousand times seems. Maybe not, he had a true. lot of acne, so they miscounted. <laughs> hey, man. He's had a rough, a rough enough day. You don't have to do like that. What was that? That YouTube channel, like Coyote Pearson or something like that, that gets stung and like does the test of how painful it is on the Schmidt test. Schmidt oh test. wait, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah who is that guy? About. Who is that guy? I, I watched him Coyote like. Pearson. I watched him sting himself with like the most dangerous bees. I think it is. Guy stings himself with bees. Yeah, it's Coyote Pearson. Oh, yeah, Brave Wilder- Wilderness. Pearson or Peterson? Peterson, excuse me. Packing the peat. <laughs> Packing the peat, pushing the peat. Most popular video. Sand speed bites worse than all stings? I think that's the one. Stung by is a it? cow killer. So this kind of bee can kill cows. I, I just want to see there. some snuff film that involves bees. Doesn't need to be a human, but like, I want to see bees kill a cow. That'd be nice. That would be nice. That would be a nice. Ah, you know, kick my feet up, get home from work, just watch that, like soak it in. Yeah, Holy I don't, I don't know fucking shit! 
It's a picture of a cow after getting attacked by bees. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Where can I find more content like this? <laughs> Uh, is that ruin the ability to turn it into hamburgers? I would imagine. I don't, I don't wouldn't want to eat a cow that got completely curb stomped by like a horde of bees. It's it like makes eating it like a better. cow that got attacked by like a swarm of locusts. Like you got to be real hungry. I love you know? locusts. I would eat yeah. that. Well, the lo you would eat the locust or the cow that got like no 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 no, no 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 the cow. Oh, Bro, okay. did you know it's locust mating season? Oh my god. Uh, next really? month, officially. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hyped for locust mating season. <laughs> I'm preparing. <laughs> Got the flags and everything. It's shaping up to be a locust summer. <laughs> it's shaping up to be a white boy summer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, such a, that's such a fun thing to say. I love it. It, because it is, you know, it's shaping up to be a white boy summer. Yeah, you can tweet it if you correct. want. Anything I say, you're welcome to tweet. Nah, I don't. I don't want to. If I, I can be a ghostwriter for you and help you out, uh, mind nah, here. No, no, no. I think uh, I think I've I could come up with some pretty deranged stuff on my own. I feel like right now I have your leash right now, and I'm just like letting you loose a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm really like mentally tired. <laughs> And and you're mentally tired, but you're tired in the way that like you you are, like, very quick. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm just like enjoying the view. It's well, like I, I, I just get fight. excited when I think about locusts. No, I understand. I get excited too, bud. You're not alone. Uh, locusts are pretty dope. I have a flag and everything. I I don't got the full set like you. I don't got the hat. I don't got the the braids. You know, I don't got a tattoo on my chest that said "Go locusts." But uh, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm there. You know. I'm ready. I'm ready to sit outside and just see the locusts like <laughs> pick up the neighbor's cow and fly off with it. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to pick up Mexico and fly off with it. <laughs> the whole, the whole of Mexico. Bro, I wrote a story. Like <clears throat> we had to do fiction stories in class, and uh, my story was like. They some guy kidnaps in Mexico by like lifting it up with helicopters and a rope. Hmm. I mean, it was that's, creative. That's pretty feasible if you think. And then about it. and then the the hero has to come in and like cut all the ropes, and then he cuts the last one, and Mexico comes falling out of the sky right back into the earth. That's not a hero play though. That would kill so many more people. Cause no, 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 no. Everybody's about. on Mexico, and they dropped it perfectly right back to where Mexico was lifted oh. out of. So it filled like a little Mexico-shaped hole in the earth. I got you. So, I mean, probably everybody died from the impact still, like, being yeah. on it, but, you know. That reminds me of got... Astro Boy. You know, you, know, yeah. you know that? You know Astro Boy? Yeah. Yeah, like, where they had, like, the island in the air, and then it came crashing down because Big Weld or something made made it fall. No, that's robots. Never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, like, if an island fell from the sky, let alone Mexico... Yeah, everyone's dead, dude. It's over. Mexico. GG. No more locusts. No more Mexico. And what is there to live for if there's no Mexico and no locusts? Tell me. The liberation of Kenya. <laughs> what is with you in the liber... So, so your mom was born on the year of the liberation of, of Kenya. Yeah, who cares, though? That's like such a fucking minor detail. No, it's a good Oh, detail, I was born the like same year. Who the fuck cares? Why you were the one that brought it up, dumbass. That? Whoever I'm would say something like that is a dumbass. You're right. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to ingest and, and trying to understand. I'm like, ingesting. Your thoughts, you're, I'm salivating. Your, uh, your thoughts need to be like... I need to I need to organize them better. You're right. So the point I want to make is I think mm -hmm. they should have like a like a CD that's like the, the best moments of the liberation of Kenya. See the montage reel of... The <laughs> Kenyan's liberation. Yeah, or, yeah the, the full DVD box set of the best moments of the liberation of Kenya. Yeah, like the Shirley Temple CD set. You can get it now, only twenty nine ninety nine. I get you. Full and full and restored in stunning color. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we can do that. We can stunning get like Kenya's colored. best reels. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I would have to sell my soul to God to get like a full DVD set of Kenya's liberation. You know, and in yeah. color, dude, I would have to go to the man downstairs. 
And you'd have to learn how to eat food without silverware. Oh, I'd already do that. I like doing uh without without like like look ma no hands like that's my favorite line and it applies to many things I do in life. And then you just face plant your food. Yeah. And like one of the, the fork was sticking up, so the prongs just like stab me. Oh god! So I'm just like screaming in my <laughs> tuna casserole. <laughs> yeah, I say if you don't want to eat with silverware, if you just want to eat with your hands, I say go for it. What are you gonna lose? Like two, three friends at most. <laughs> it's worth it in my opinion you know yeah silverware is such a like modern man type of thing i want to like i want to go back a couple centuries every now and then it doesn't have to be a consistent thing but to get a little messy because i rack something about me that you don't know Ooh, is that i always wear a bib yeah i i always have a bib on i have a bib on right now even like when you take a shower like if you're fully yep. naked you'll yep. never take off the bib yep I had a I had a bib on when I when I first got intimate. I I I keep that shit on me, okay? In case you drool on yourself. <laughs> no, I know a lot of people is like, "Oh, you're fucking not off and you're just uh, just drooling on you." No. It's because you never know what life will throw at you. You never know what's going to happen. So might as well go in with your teeth just ready to bite in and your hands ready to get dirty. And I got a nice petito which is chest in England or, or in Spanish. Wait, 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 Pachito. Yeah, no, it's Spanish, Spanish, not England. Can not confirm England that? Somebody's knocking <laughs> at your door. No, it's just my, see, it's my little, my, my fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but I got a nice chest. So I don't want to dirty it up. Why would I want to dirty it up? Pachito, you know? d- definition, Pechito. a person who refers to themselves in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it Spanish or that's that's Spanish, yeah. Okay, perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Well you weren't talking about yourself in the third person. But yeah. That's that's cool, yeah. dude. Thank Whatever you, you were talking about, it was cool. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. Or I'm happy that happened to you. <laughs> I think uh we need some comic relief. You wanna hear a joke? Sure, but before we jump off this topic, I just wanna say I feel like merch on youtube is so fucking boring i think that mugs and hats are i don't i don't know i don't i don't see the appeal and but yeah buy our merch we got homie talk ball gags check it out in the description (laughs) oh we have homie talk bibs that's what i'm trying to push over here and pushing bibs and ball gags if you want to be bibbed and gagged (laughs) click the link (laughs) if you want to be bibbed and gagged head over to the homie talk podcast store No, we we have uh what is it called? We have uh we have um we have cock rings coming in in September. What? So for uh <laughs> so for our extra large gentlemen, you'll have to wait for November for the bigger ones, but yeah, it will be in store. Link is somewhere, not gonna be in the description, but you know. I gotta All get right, my right, cock wait. ring three XL. <laughs> Just H M. We are home. It's practically to- a bracelet at that point. <laughs> Just have a fucking hula hoop around your cock. Yeah, we'll sell hula hoops too. Um, okay, yeah. So you want to, yeah, comic relief. I want to hear a joke, Rack. Hit me with, hit me with one right now. Knock knock. Oh boy, these are my kind of my, my favorite kind of jokes. Who's there? orange? You glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> okay, that was <laughs> that was just stupid. That was just that was just silly. <laughs> that was just I don't know why I'm smiling so much from that. <laughs> Am I a toddler? What the fuck? I mean, aren't you glad you didn't say banana, though? Because I could have. I like oranges more than bananas, so yeah. Oh, okay. Knock, knock. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Who's there? An orange. You're too sweet, man. There you go. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm too happy right now. (laughs) That's kind of you. That's that's true (laughs) friendship right there. What if what if that's what you did to like cheer somebody up? Like, oh man, <laughs> had a oh, rough man. day, bud. My my girlfriend broke up with me. Oh yeah, knock knock. Who's there? Your girlfriend. That would not help them. That would make them <laughs> upset even more. That's just being a dick. No, like if who's your there? Friend your had, like, girlfriend and she wants you back. Oh, uh, oh well, I don't. You know, that's a different kind of warms there with uh you know coming back 
Once I'm out, I'm out. No, but like if your friend was having a rough day, it was like, hey, buddy, what's your favorite fruit? Apple. <laughs> hey, buddy. No, like, no. <laughs> That's better. That's way better. <laughs> I like Apple. that one. Bro, you didn't have to. And then you guys, like, I was about to say kiss <laughs> for a second. You guys <laughs> hug, you know? <laughs> you just start passionately making out with your homie. Yeah. yeah. You're like opening young. doors in my mind. Yeah. And there's an apple behind it. Like I start installing dummy locks in your head. Dummy stupid locks. Dummy stupid idiot locks. Dummy stupid um, door handles. So yeah. they're, they're like dummy locks. They're dummy handles that you can't like actually turn so you can't open the door to like a whole bunch of fruits. Yeah, I have a door handle on my brain. Yeah. Is it a dummy handle or, or no? Can you Yeah, this, this door handle got me my brain dummy stupid. Okay, so you can't open and it's just like mentally destroyed. Mentally, I feel yeah. like you're, you're, I feel mentally you have two sides of your brain and they're both like in Mexico fighting in a backyard over like which one's going to win. Oh yeah. You know, so we have on the left, we have dogs fighting each other. In the middle, we have your brain, like two halves of your brain fighting each other. And then your adopted kids from Kenya on the right. And that's how we like equally utilize the backyard that you have in Mexico. You know, I, I don't think I would ever adopt. I don't. I'm scared of like signing papers because like, I, I who has the time to go through the fucking terms of service? You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna read all that. I'm banned from adopting for terms of service violations. <laughs> What'd you violate in the terms of service? That you have to give the kid back at the end of the free trial. <laughs> That's. I lost it, bro. I lost. It's not my fault. It walked off. Can you borrow a kid? If you ask nicely and you have like no ill I mean there I guess there's things. babysitting. It's babysitting but like it's all in how you phrase nice. it. It's all in how you phrase it. You you right. don't want to say can I and borrow your kid. I didn't phrase it kid? properly there at all. <laughs> you don't say can I borrow <laughs> your nice. kid. You just say can I babysit your kid. Even if your intention is actually to borrow the kid. You can just say babysit. Okay, so this is this is kidnapping. This is uh, illegal. And it's no. morally incorrect. No, if yeah, you a- okay. I'm saying you ask. You, okay, it's not borrowing if you just take it without asking. That's stealing. Right. You gotta ask. Okay, what if they say no? Like, oh, I'm good. No borrowing. What do you do then? Because this shows you true colors. Like, what you what are you gonna do when you get hit with a no? I'm gonna say, is it because I'm a guy, you sexist pig? I want <laughs> nothing to do with your child. I only wanted to help you and spread goodwill in the neighborhood. And then I would slam their own front door into their face. I wouldn't trust my kid with any random person that says, hey, can I babysit your kid? You wouldn't trust me with your kid? No, definitely not. No, I would not trust you with my kid. No, 100%. You're a good what friend of mine, Rack, fuck, but fuck man. no. Fuck that. No, Rack, I think that, I think that you have a lot to give the world, but not to children. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. I think, I think you should stay miles away from those guys. I think that if you uh, talk any more about this, I'm gonna call your parole officer. <laughs> if you talk about this anymore, I will release Jesus of Nazareth into a new vessel. <laughs> when you walk outside and you see fucking Satan fighting one of his uh, one of God's angels, oh no, the rapture is starting when you walk outside. The you rapture. Know that meme? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know yeah. that meme. I love that fucking meme so much. Holy shit! When you walk outside in the rapture, <laughs> you witness the rapture. God, God needs to come back, man. He really does. He needs to, we need a God too. We need a sequel. We need a God too, so we can be the ambassador of peace. And restore tranquility to the land. Yeah, I wonder when the Avatar is going to return. He's been kind of like taking his sweet time this time. I wonder when the Queen of England is going to come back. Hate to bring you uh, some sour news here, my man, but I don't think that's happening. You fucking want, mate? Oh shit. Uh, maybe sausage roll. Uh, wait, are they gonna are they gonna come up with like a new queen? No, uh, no, they they crown somebody else. Wait, somebody really? Else in the royal family? Yeah. Is it a guy? Yeah. Is it a male queen of England? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a queen. That is not progressive at all. How queen right, of England replacement? Saying. Let's see replacement what kind of back talk 
Oh, it's her eldest son, Charles, who is now King Charles III. See, I yeah. didn't know that because I'm not British. But now I do. I'm not British too, but it was a pretty pretty big news for around the world, the coronation of uh, the further monarch. What was the coronation like? Did they have like sparklers boring. and lean? <laughs> I really wish someone like ripped ass like really loud in the coronation. Did, did King Charles have like bitches twerking on him and popping champagne? I watched for one minute and because I watched for one minute, I'm pretty sure nothing like that was happening. Because I would have watched for a lot, lot longer if that was what was happening. Well, it sounds like a lame inauguration. You know, you would think so, but it looked really nice. It looked like, like, uh, like I felt like really prim and pop proper after I was I was done watching the one minute. I felt like I had to like sip like any juice or any like cup with my pinky up. You know, yeah. I felt like I myself was part of the monarchy. You know what? I am part of the monarchy. You may now call me King JC. I, I'd say you are. You said prim and proper. That was hella British. K- King JC from now on, please. Yep. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I would bring the You're queen back just it. to get some sloppy head. <laughs> if she's gone you. forever, then I guess King Charles is fun. How old You're is he? You're down to get sloppy head from King Charles. King Charles age. I got a lot of stuff in my search history. Yeah, a lot of things you need to really delete after today. Wait, so you're saying that you um, get straight gummed by the king of England? Well, I don't know yet. I'm I'm researching to find that out. So he's 74. Let's look at a pic of his mouth. <laughs> mouth of King Charles. King Charles' <laughs> mouth. Oh, no. Come on. That's he doesn't mouth. have any fucking photos of, like, his mouth wide open, Good. like a like a dentist Good. shut. Do they have, like, guards over there? Or... Or not? Yeah, you know the ones with the tall, funny hats. Oh yeah, they 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 pass out from heat exhaustion. I was thinking of Kenya for some reason when I was thinking of England. No, no, no. They got liberated from Britain in 1963. They don't have guards. Oh, was it 1963? Yeah, yeah. They don't have guards. When 1963 rolls around again, I'll say, uh, you know, happy birthday to your mom. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. When whenever that rolls around again, (laughs) put put that on the calendar. (laughs) Shit, I have my calendar upside down. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird because like right now I'm in 2009 and people are like, dude, what are you doing? And I was like, hey. That I'm sounds a, fucking uh, awesome. It sounds really fucking awesome. 2009 or 2010 to 2015 was pretty good. Pretty mint. 2000 to 2015 was pretty mint. Yeah. And then like. Wait, mint or I, mid? Mint. Mint. Yeah, yeah. I mint. Agree. Yeah. I would love to go. Dude, if I went back into to 2009 right now. With the knowledge that I have, I would have like maybe a book signing. I would maybe have a my own book. Wait, what year would you go back to? I go back to 1958. Oh, okay. I don't. Yeah, were, were books around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So think, you you would get, you do book signing and like your claim to fame would be you're from the future. Or well, no? not necessarily. I think okay. So were books around back in 1958? Well, I know a couple of years before that, like there was a big library in Alexandria that got burned. So maybe for a couple of years, we didn't really have many books. But I know in 1958, they made a resurgence um, after that big fire. So I think I would be in the prime of my my author ways. Um, I would make a book on how to... See, I didn't get to this part yet, but I know for a fact I'd be a good author. I'll be able to like right off the bat put my put my... Oh, they don't have Google Docs in 1958. Fuck, how would I write? What the yeah, hell? Guess, uh, Shit. Guess we can I throw out that whole idea. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, that idea's gone now. I can't write. Oh, well, I can write. I can write and read very well. It's just no one can understand my handwriting. So to be like I'd be like trapped in my own mind, and I don't think I would last very long. So, yeah, I need Google Docs. Shout out to Google Docs. Thank you, uh, President Biden, for... <laughs> Sponsored by Google Docs. <laughs> Sponsored by the Biden administration. Dude, how crazy would it be if the podcast was sponsored by the White House? That would be like, disgusting. I think I would like that, actually. I think I'd be into it. Because, like, you would hate it. And I would love it. And, like, we're getting sponsored by the White House. Like, how many podcasts on YouTube or, like, Vimeo? Because this is going on Vimeo. Shout out to all the homies on Vimeo. Fuck with y'all. I love you guys. Uh, and then Twitter. You know, we should we should make a Twitter in which we like only post like the podcast cut up 
So, like, we'll post two minutes. And they're not clips. They're not, like, edited clips for TikTok or anything like that. Just two minutes of the podcast split into, like, 100 posts, you know? Can it be the orangey glad I got banana part? Yeah. All right. Fuck, I hope I don't mess that up. I hope I don't, like, <laughs> do the entire podcast and then forget that one clip that you just spoke of. And then have to do it all over again. Did you ever find out that you would get straight gummed by the King of England? Or no, you're still on the fence about that. No, I was, I was just like saying hypothetically that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So so you'd be down. You'd be you'd be up for that little experience. <laughs> yeah, I looked up pics of his mouth. He looks pretty clean. Nice, man. You got some teeth? You got teeth? Uh, he does have teeth. Yes. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. If you need someone to talk to, you can just tell me your favorite fruit, and I'll we're talking right now. <laughs> I know we're talking right now, but if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. Man, Gee, I thanks, wish guys buddy. were such assholes. I'm not an asshole. Yeah, that's kind of what that just was. Man, I wish I could find a guy that like really cares about me and really puts me first. I'm a guy that puts you first in case about you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just like talking in the mirror. I wish I had somebody <laughs> that cared about me and put me first. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, Okay, cool. Good start of my day. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's time to go to the psych ward. Yeah. Yeah, time to go to the psych ward so you can practice your bubonics. He built like what? a... He built like a... He built like a... Fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna sneeze? Is that how black people sneeze? <laughs> it just a gun goes off at the end. <laughs> Am I cutting that one out? I don't know if I'm cutting that one out. Oh, <laughs> what, me saying black no, people? No, me finishing that. No, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah? I would like to tender my, my resignation. <laughs> formal formal apology coming tomorrow. Nah, I'm playing. Um, he yeah, built dude, like an know. uneven onion. He oh. built like a cozy shrimp. Oh, no. He built like a crusty ketchup bottle. Mm, crusty. Oh, all right. I'm gonna stop. Oh, I love crusty stuff. Anything crusty, I fucking love. Speaking of which, I, I there was no toilet paper at work today, so I had to use my forearm, and it just it. Kind this of is set progressively the- getting worse. Like, how am I supposed <laughs> to respond to this shit? Honestly, what do you want me to say? To I want that? you to listen and and and, and like educate yourself. Please don't operate. fucking put this shit in. It's so bad. <laughs> I'm scrambling to keep up now. Yeah, the fucking yeah, roles like, have reversed. Now I'm scrambling to keep up with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens, man. Give me enough time, I'll set into your tempo, and then you'll fall behind. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta pick it the fuck up on my end here. He mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's got the fattest cock of them all? Me. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was talking to my mirror. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Of course, it's me. It's got a vein Dude. in it. Hookers love oh. my dick vein. Oh yeah, it's a, it's nice texture going in. No 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 no. That one's gonna cut out. <laughs> that one's going out. That one's for the delete. That's for the Patreon supporters. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would fucking pay not to be signed up to that Patreon. <laughs> Holy shit. I would pay to like actually erase that from my my memory right now. This is this is a podcast that cannot <laughs> that cannot be on speaker anywhere. Oh, I remember. This is a story that I don't know how true it is, but my friend was telling me about how because somehow my school did this, or not somehow because it's quite simple. But basically, a kid brought in like one of those Bluetooth speakers and hid the speaker like somewhere on like the top shelf of the the, the room, the classroom. And I think now in this day and age, this would work a lot better because, like, you could just look up like, like an hour of like like a metal pipe falling, but it happens randomly, and you could just put that in the middle of the classroom, and it's just it's good that way. Yeah. But I think I think the kid, the story from the kid, he put it on his person. I think either this was college or or school, like normal element. No, I'm like, oh my god, not elementary school, uh, high school or college. But like the kid himself was the speaker. Yeah, to some degree, I don't know where he had it on his body. Wait, is this uh, is this Arab Andy? 
where like he the bomb threat goes off and everybody evacuates. Shit, it, I I don't know. Maybe. Wait, what happened? What sound came out of the speaker? I you know I was I was talking about it just now and I just forgot exactly what was playing in the speaker. The most important thing, the most important detail about that story, slipped through my fingers. Something, ba- probably a bomb threat. Now that you say it, <laughs> now that you say it, it's probably <laughs> something that I know it was bad. There was it a was streamer named Arab Andy, and he had uh, donations on text to speech. And one of them was, I'm about to detonate a C4 right now, and then played a beeping sound effect. Yeah, that sounds similar to, I think, what I was going to say. That's crazy, though. I think I think I know what you're talking about, streamer you're talking about, and I think that maybe I'm talking about that guy. But yeah. uh, I know for a fact, uh, either that streamer or other streamers, like... They just put a, a speaker on them and just record themselves in public getting, like, humiliated. Yeah, that's just is, dangerous. That is dangerous, one, because, well, obviously it is dangerous because of what you're playing, but let's say you're just annoying somebody and, like, you're just humiliating yourself that way. Like, you could get, like, beat up. Like, people will not take kindly to that. Oh, yeah, I saw somebody that, like, their their speaker was playing the N-word over and over. Right. <laughs> they got jumped by black guys. That's, I mean play with fire you get burned you know what i mean yeah like that's just stupid, they get so. burned by god but yeah you too <laughs> rack not what? what not okay i'm sorry yeah a lot of racist jokes this episode i apologize no, i'm okay. just kind of letting right. them out did uh so i'm sorry this is a boomerang thing i keep boomeranging because i'm a little fixated on this because it keeps br- being brought up the liberation of kenya no, Where we're not bombs. talking about that again. No, but but like but like, I, I just want to know what happened. Why was Kenya liberated in the first place? Why I, it was, was Kenya taken over? I, I said it as like a like haha random XD kind of joke, and then oh okay, now it's then, like just a focal point for me. Yeah, you took I'm it and sorry. ran with it. I I love running with things. I love taking things and running with it. I'm wanted for stealing multiple items in Kentucky. There should be a video that's 10 hours of silence occasionally broken up by JC bringing up something completely random. <laughs> can we, um, next podcast episode, can we watch Shrek, Shrek 2? I'm a big sucker for twos and trilogies. Shrek 2, and then we just have our reaction be the podcast. Oh. So, like, we don't show any video. We just like, oh, you, dude, Gingerbread Guy is my favorite character. I think dude, I would, I would how- rather kill myself. <laughs> I... You know, I did that years ago on Solitary Confinement with G-Force. Yeah, I think that's where I think I got the idea from. I mean, yeah, that was G-Force a good movie. G-Force is like a subpar movie. Yeah, but it was worth rewatching that one. Yeah. You know, when I, when I think of G-Force, I think of Bolt. You know Bolt? Oh, yeah, we can rewatch Bolt. That's fine. I'm down for that. I haven't, I haven't or, seen that since it came out. I watched it recently because I was bored. Yeah. And I like the music at the end. Or I can just imagine you sitting alone going. in your room watching Bolt with I the, want- <laughs> the screen, the light of the screen being the only thing illuminating your face in that the darkness. That is so sad. <laughs> that I mean, that's, so I'm just saying that's what I imagine is the saddest no, yeah. version of that. Yeah. No, I watched it with somebody. I, I would not watch Bolt alone for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 22-year-old adult. I don't think eating, I <laughs> Watching Bolt alone in the dark while eating lizards. That is, <laughs> okay. that is sad. Uh, that is something that that's actually really bad. Yeah, who'd you watch it with? Oh, with with uh, with Hannah. Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I like when he said "Bolt, speak," and then he just. I would. I'm not gonna bark right now because like the other dogs in my neighborhood will start barking, and then we'd have to cut the episode because no amount of like noise cancellation will save us from that. But like. Bolt speaks. Oh, uh, no. Fuck. Every single time I say that, I just want to, like, start barking. You know? It was, it was a really good movie. Start I liked growling. It. Start growling. You start ripping. No, if I start growling, though, like, I'll, I'll, I'll come out. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, dude. That actually sounded like a bullet. Like a bang, bang. You know? Take 20 steps back. 20 paces back. Now draw. Ananias <laughs> words partner on number 12. We shoot bolt. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bitches don't even see me coming. I'm an underdog. <laughs> That's your producer line. Just barking <laughs> in the middle of the track. That's my catchphrase. I say I'm an underdog and then I bark. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to put a muzzle on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
10 hours of silence occasionally broken up by the police doing a wellness check. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I think, uh... I think we're a little too deranged tonight. (laughs) I think we're a little... (laughs) Yeah, You know, at the start, I was catching up to your energy, but now it's just... (laughs) Now it's just really aged. All right, I'm sorry. I'll delete my recording. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I would actually kill myself if we just went through all of that and we can't. We have nothing to show for it. <laughs> I lost. I lost too many brain cells to not get anything out of this. Oh my god. Do you? Um. I think. I think this is a good place to stop. <laughs> I want to so. wait. One more thing. I want to make sure, a movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What kind of movie? What genre? Um, just anything. Any kind of like a comedy, comedy movie. It could be like animated or it could be live action. I'm not a big fan of comedy movies. I'm being real with that. I think well, that I would make really it good though. I would make it actually good. That's a tall order. Uh, uh, yeah, genre okay. Sh- shit. Fucking uh-huh, uh-huh, head ass. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I would do no, it. I would I, make no, it funny. No, I think like Seth Rogen fucking Adam Sandler movies is what I think about comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Hollywood. I, yeah, I don't like... Well, actually, th- that one scene in the Adam Sandler movie where he's like fucking no, with his soup all. at the dinner table it's kind of funny no i hate it all but I, okay I hate it all no i wouldn't yeah. do like that like not like physical comedy but like a well-written movie i feel like if i was the the head of script writing i could do it i don't know all right maybe we should have ended no. it no 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 no, no. It's I, fine. I, I took all the annoying. comedic momentum away by bringing up something serious dude just completely fine to talk about something serious i'm fine with that completely. it's not fine I think it is. I'm not going to smack my desk because all the dogs in the vicinity will start barking. Um, dude, I think that I think that like Hollywood would not take kindly to your creative ideas. Indie movie. I will produce it myself. All I need is... Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, that's I, I need to recruit people. I need a head of animation. I need a, a head of storyboarding. I need a head of lettuce. Just anybody that can help out <laughs> with production, just let me know. Just comment down below. If you have a comment c- down below, if you want to be in Rex movie and you have like if you have actual lettuce, here. if you have credentials or lettuce, <laughs> let me know in the comments. <laughs> I I am not <laughs> promising this is going anywhere. I just want to make a movie someday. That's all I'm saying. If you ever need like an actor that like needs to wear a bib in the scenes, <laughs> like I'm there for you, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Fuck, you already been method acting for years, so that'll be perfect. <laughs> Dude. I don't know no. if that's a diss or not. I'm just gonna. I want to. I I want to make like a cast of characters, mm. or or like a like a sitcom, or like just some kind of creation, some kind of creative media that you watch, but that isn't is that isn't just media. like, not just like YouTube videos though. I mean like like an animated production, right, or, right, or, right. or 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 a real production, like something that could be an actual show. I has, think that's a vibe it needs of a to, show. I think it needs to be far away from any of the generic versions of comedy or comedy animation. Exactly. No, it would be like like the kind of comedy in this podcast. Right, exactly. It should exactly be like that. Because I feel like you can constrain yourself to any of those pre-made archetypes for for that level of entertainment. It just, it won't work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do it like those other shows. Yeah, don't, don't, you don't want to do that. It doesn't fit your your rhythm. Fucking big old mouth. Yeah. You do ha- you have a huge mouth, man. I was I meant the a, show big mouth. You have a huge mouth. Dude, don't I don't fuck f- yourself. Oh my god, big <laughs> big mouth. Do I have a big mouth? Yeah. Well, I mean, judging by that bark, I thought it was pretty big. Oh yeah. That that loosened yeah. up my mouth a bit. Oh man. Yeah, okay, maybe we stop now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we we call it call it a night. I like how we said we were going to structure this more and then we stuck to you know, we stuck to Pete. We didn't even talk about Pete pushing Pete. Yeah, we did. I listed all the ways I refer to Jack and off. Oh, uh, I guess. Which is actually know. just something I stole from a 15 year old YouTube video. That's perfectly fine. That's all good. As long as we'll, we'll put the we'll put the um the credits and the no, I won't. I will. You don't even I'll know do what it. the video is because I haven't told you. I'll find it. I'll sniff it out. Okay. Use the Wayback Machine. Good luck. <laughs> Doing a fucking... 
uh, treasure hunt on YouTube or scavenger hunt. Find this 15-year-old obscure-ass video. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you guys want to play a fun game, try to figure out where the fucking pack and the peat thing is from. Yeah, I, I, that's a good idea. And I could just tell you. I'll tell you in the next episode. How about that? Remind me, too. I will remind you. Because it's actually a funny it. video. Then he needs to do that, yeah. I'll write it down. All right, well... I'm glad. I'm glad we got the second episode. Wait, out. we didn't even answer any of the like comment questions. Didn't we say we were going to do that? I'm glad. I'm glad we. we oh, I'm getting tired. Oh, let me just stretch. Okay, real so quick. we so uh, we'll save that for next week then. Let's do let's do comments and and talking about stuff. Leave leave quite more questions. I need more. Okay, questions. the thing I is, need- like, I don't like to be shackled to like. Oh, you have to answer this question. So that's why I just talked about bullshit for an hour. Right. Same here. Um, but maybe we can dedicate an episode. We'll, we'll okay, like, yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll chain have ourselves up for for an episode and be constrained just to. Okay, questions. but I don't want to chain myself too much. Like I'll answer the questions, but I can't promise yeah. I'll answer them seriously. You want some wiggle room in your in your wrist, just in case you want to break free. I get you. Actually, the only one we answered from the comments is if you could drop a nuke, where would it be? I think that was the I nitpicked a little bit there. Just, just that last one that was posted two hours ago. Yeah, I fucking loved it. We I only it was great. we only did the most recent question from two hours ago. Wait, I didn't even answer that. Hold on, let me answer. Oh yeah, that. where would you drop a nuke? Hmm. I had a dream where I like saved the United States because like a, a like a nuclear warhead was like falling, and I decided that I would like save the United States or the state that I was in. And I raced like like a, you know how like a, a weather channel like a, a storm chaser. Like they have like a, a giant like uh, like a van that they chase the storm with. Like I got into my car and I was just chasing the bomb falling, right? Yeah. And I, I, I calculated using my big old thinking brain, I calculated where the bomb was gonna fall and it was gonna fall in this empty grassy field, right? I stopped the van right next to the field and I ran towards the bomb and where it would detonate. <laughs> And when the bomb was like like 10, 20 meters, it was falling, falling, falling. I stood right underneath it, and the nuclear warhead hit me, <laughs> hit me right square into the face. It blew up. <laughs> Damn. And I woke up then and there. So, did you like save the town? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you meant like you absorbed the shock of the explosion <laughs> no. and saved the... <laughs> The United States. No, I did not. No, I died. I died and everybody else died. I just... Oh. <laughs> so you ran towards changed... it for nothing? I just chased it in a nuclear warhead blew up on my face. There's, yeah, just something there's... about like face, like meeting your face with a bomb <laughs> that can erase you in like the entire tri-state area. I just, I don't you, know. you knew where it was going to land and you purposely had to get right in the center of the blast. <laughs> I, don't I had like a battle cry too as well. Like r- right before it, it like fell on my face, I said something. I don't remember what I said, but I yelled it. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. I like how I said that, but like I still don't have a location for where the bomb should. Yeah, go. that that did not answer the question at all, <laughs> or my question either, for that matter. <laughs> oh. Thank you for watching the Homie Talk podcast. No, where would you nuke? I'll, I'll appreciate it. Yourself? If your you own, guys, yourself. That's the answer. Thank you for dropping by. Come come by for the third episode. You would just eat the out, nuke yourself. Coming out real soon. Like, yep. Rack, you want to say goodbye? There's a nuke you can drop it anywhere. You just eat it. <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Questions next week. Maybe. I don't know. Is this shit still rolling? Hope not.